In England, Abney was born to a clergyman's father. He was a creator of various technical aspects of photography. His actions in the chemistry of photography produced useful photographic products and also developments in astronomy. He wrote many books on photography that were considered standard texts at the time, although he was doubtful that his improvements would have a great impact on the subject. He investigated the blackening of a negative to incidental light. In 1874, the technologically advanced dry photographic emulsion replaced wet emulsions. This emulsion was used in an Egyptian expedition to photograph the transit of Venus across the Sun. In 1880, he presented hydroquinone. In 1882, he introduced a formula for gelatin silver chloride paper and besides it, various useful photographic papers were also introduced. He showed early research into the field of spectroscopy, developing a red-sensitive emulsion that was used for the infrared spectra of organic molecules, and was also a developer in photographing the infrared solar spectrum, 1887, as well as researching sunlight in the medium of the atmosphere. Then he came up with the Abney level, a combined clinometer and spirit level, used by surveyors to measure slopes and angles. The Abney effect is a perceptual change in hue that occurs when white light is added to monochromatic, one color, light. Adding light to light of a single color is essentially desaturating the light and the altered hue we observe is called the Abney effect. The Abney effect relates to color perception. The term covers two phenomena. Precisely, the Abney effect relates to the apparent shift in the hue of monochromatic light when white light is added, therefore increasing total illumination. For example, a blue light would seem to become redder when white light is added. It also relates to the perceptual illusion that happens when a large area is suddenly illuminated. The light appears to come on in the center of the area and then spreads to the edges. Conversely, if the illumination is suddenly turned off the edges disappear first as the light, then disappears at the center. Implications of this theory Maximum accounts of the Abney effect have been automatic and focused on the implications for color opponent channels, without seeing the possible implications for constancy. For example, measures of equilibrium and hue loci have been important for describing the responses of the opponent mechanisms presumed to underlie the red-green and blue-yellow dimensions of color appearance, but have not typically been analyzed to understand whether the responses are tied to functional advantages in color coding. The Abney effect replicates the fact that the linearly scaled cone excitation S do not appear constant in hue. Due to this effect, an important assumption is made that the visual system can somehow compensate for its own filtering characteristics so that changes in cone signals 3 with variations in purity can be interpreted accordingly. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.